Hello everybody and welcome to PUAD 5340 Public Administration Theory and Practice. Uh, I'm so excited uh, to have you as students uh, this fall semester. Uh, I'm and your instructor, uh, Dr. Nathaniel Wright, uh, and I look forward to interacting with each and every one of you, uh, whether it be via discussion boards or, or via office hours. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with me, um, I am originally from New York City, uh, born in Jamaica, Queens. Uh, I, I did my undergrad in political science and my master's of public administration at Binghamton University, which is located in upstate New York. Uh, also, uh, I, I left New York and went to Kansas uh, to uh, pursue my PhD in public administration, uh, and I received my doctorate uh, in 2014. I am entering my sixth year here uh, at Texas Tech University. Uh, and I'm the nonprofit expert uh, on faculty. Uh, believe it or not, I've actually worked in local government uh, as a uh, city planner uh, and a county planner uh, while I was uh, in upstate New York in Binghamton. And so I'm uh, really proud of my uh, local government experience and look forward to kind of sharing, sharing my experience uh, with you uh, as we navigate this course. Um, so for those of you who are not aware, classes start August 24th. Uh, 2020. And uh, this is definitely an unusual format for fall 2020. As many of you know, uh, we are currently uh, going through uh, uh, unusual times, a uh, global pandemic with COVID-19. Um, ho hopefully, uh, we will navigate that and, and hopefully that won't in in interrupt uh, our fall uh, of that much. Uh, keep in mind that for those of you who are logging on today, um, that uh, I encourage you to start with the welcome page. Uh, which provides you with the course overview, uh, tells you about our learning objectives, and also about our course calendar. So I encourage you all to uh, look at that course calendar from start to finish, keeping in mind that our classes start uh, again today, August 24th, uh, and end on December the 9th. So uh, we have 10 modules uh, in, this, in this course, and uh, you're responsible for keeping up with all of the due dates, so please uh, take a few moments and start logging those due dates uh, into your Outlook calendar, your Google calendar, uh, however you uh, uh, keep track uh, of your assignments uh, due dates. Um, the course calendar is in two places, uh, one uh, on the homepage and also appears on the left-hand side under assignment calendar. Take some time um, um, this week uh, or today or Tuesday or Wednesday uh, to explore the learning modules. So again, we have 10 learning modules uh, for uh, this uh, course uh, that cover a wide range of issues uh, in public administration, right? And so, um, and really the purpose of this course uh, is really for you to examine the knowledge and skills uh, and abilities needed to practice uh, democratic public administration uh, across a spectrum of organizations uh, and movements, uh, within uh, which we serve the public, right? And so uh, it is vital that you understand the context in, in which you are likely to work. And you know, if you're planning on going uh, into local government or working for a nonprofit organization, uh, I hope that you will gain a better understanding of the workings of the public sector uh, and also explore a variety of practical administrative problems, uh, which we will go uh, over in this class uh, through our case studies, through our analysis, through our weekly discussion forums. Uh, so again, um, I hope that you walk away uh, learning more about uh, the practice uh, and the theoretical underpinnings uh, of, of public administration uh, as a field and also as a discipline. Uh, so if you have any questions uh, throughout the course, please do not hesitate uh, to give me a phone call or send me an email. Uh, it is my goal uh, to ensure uh, your success in this course. Um, I'm here with you. Uh, I'll be interacting with you on the discussion forums. Uh, I'll be providing you some uh, feedback uh, on your assignments. Uh, and even if you have any questions about the rubrics or how I grade, again, please do not hesitate uh, to give me a call or shoot me an email. Uh, some of you I've met in person. Some of you I've already interacted with via Zoom. Uh, so excited to get to know everyone in this course uh, and look forward to a great fall semester. Uh, so I wish you all the best as you navigate this course. Uh, and again, I'm only a phone call or email away. All right, have a great day.